Hi, welcome back for part two. Uh, this one here is a much shorter part than the other one that was supposed to be quick. Um, so in order to set up your equipment to work properly um, with your character and get the, uh, the thing, you need to go to the item list. Um, so just double click that and open up. You can just search in the, um, the content folder here for item list and it's item list, not master item list. Just leave that alone. Um, item list, open that up. Uh, and you can see you can come down to um, equipment, cardboard vest. It's just easier just to um, modify these ones. They're already in the scene, so you can test it out. Um, otherwise, you'll make your own one um, following the regular tutorials for creating a, an item. Um, the other things that we need to change in here, if we scroll down uh, to uh, equipment details, open that up, third person equipment meshes. You want to go to skeletal meshes, and you want to drop in your, um, your long sleeve shirt or whatever item you want um, from the PO art. Uh, modular character or whatever modular character you've got. Now this particular one here, if we go and have a look at it, um, you'll see it's actually got the arms on it. Some of them I believe don't have arms or they do, yeah it looks like they actually do have some arms, um, but then of course you've got things like the, the vest here which is a crop jacket um, that doesn't have uh, any arms or anything else that's actually an external mesh that goes on top. These ones here are reskinning the um, the body so um, that's important because there's, there's two different ways of doing that. So we've got our item list here again drag that in. Um, again I've got it um, hidden in first person because I don't want it to pop up on our first person character um, and, uh, and and cause a bit of an issue there. So uh, you can leave the first person body equipment meshes all that sort of blank. The only other thing you'll need to do is come down here to hide character component tags. Um, yours might be blank. What you want to do is add um, add two elements here because this one here when it's the, the top we've got the, the body and the arms that need to be hidden. Um, so what you need to do is just create two array elements and type in again arms and body and if you recall on our master character uh, when we come to our body you can see here we've got a tag for body and arms is arms. So what this actually does is um, it hides these components uh, in your character. So when you when you um, put this this item on um, it's telling your uh, master character or your, your character component here to look for any of these um, components in here with that particular tag on it and of course then it's going to hide them so it's going to make them invisible. So what's happening is it's um, spawning this in over the top of uh, of these these particular elements um, but then it's telling these ones to to turn invisible so you don't get the bleed through effect where you can see parts of the skin popping through the shirt um, when it moves and stuff like that because they're trying to share the same space. Um, that's only necessary when you have these ones that replace the skin. Again if you have the um, the crop jacket you actually don't need to put these in um, and I'll show you that by actually replacing it with the um, the crop jacket. Oh, sorry I'm going to have to do it by this. I'm just going to type crop um, mail add-on crop jacket. So if you see if I leave the arms and the body um, visible, if I go save, now when I run the game and go back to the bigger screen because I like that more. No, I no, said so go to the bigger screen. All right, there we go. Um, you'll see when I put it on now, it's going to spawn the jacket in over the top, but then it's going to turn off my arms and my body, and you can see now it's invisible. So that's effectively what it's doing. Um, when you're wearing the other one too, um, but you just don't notice it because you have the the arms and the uh, sorry the yeah, the arms and the um, the chest. Um, but yeah, for stuff like the crop jacket that are actual uh, extra pieces, you don't need to turn off or hide any of the features, um, unless of course it's like a hat and you need to turn off the hair so that the hair doesn't clip through. Although I think the hats are made with hair, but um, yeah, I'm not 100% uh, certain on that. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it. That's how you get these modular characters working. Um, it is pretty groovy because it's. Uh, the kit is built for pretty much running both the the, um, uh, the modular characters and just uh, external meshes, which is um, great that it does both without any real sort of fiddling um, other than what we did on the, the master character. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully that helped.